functionalities of the test like uh, it has other functionalities but those two are the most basic ones and you can test anything in the car using a test light um, let's say that there is a circuit malfunctioning in the car you're trying to turn on the lights and the lights are not coming on so the way the car is wired every single circuit in the car and need some form of voltage and it is controlled by a computer all the circuits are wired through the fuse box okay so a lot a lot of the testing a lot of the testing that you can do in your car i would say that the, the starting point should always be on your fuse box because if everything is wired through the fuse box these fuses here are used in order to protect the circuit from uh, damaging uh, all the circuits of the battery or protecting the the load when there is too much current flowing through the circuit that is uh, the function of the fuse and then from the fuse goes into a relay but not all circuits are controlled using a relay um, the relay is used to activate the circuit many of the circuits are directly wired through the battery meaning that they have 12 volts at all time and they are a ground switch using the computer um, i hope it makes sense so the first place where you should come and test whether something is not working or not is at the fuse box here on the back of the fuse box you have a, a diagram with the abbreviation of what each fuse is for okay so let's say that I wanted to test this fuse right here this is a 15 amp fuse notice I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys can see it but notice that the fuse has two contacts in each ends and, and that is what's going to allow me to test the fuse if I touch this end right here let's pick on another one okay not all fuse are um, powered on at all times so this one it is and notice that I have 12 volts at that fuse my Tesla is connected to the negative of the battery I can connect it to this negative here or to the chassis uh, the engine is it's wired the ground the engine is grounded to the chassis of the car at many at many points um, so you have a what is called a floating gro ground so you you can use this as a test point as a ground is the same thing so you can come here and notice that I have 12 volts there if I touch the other end of the fuse, I have 12 volt there. So that means that fuse is good. All right. So right now, I know that the reason why something is not functioning is not because my fuse is blown. So the next step will be to check a relay if there is a relay or going uh, directly to um, the load uh, or the device that you're trying to to check and, and check for the existence of voltage or maybe the existence of ground. It doesn't have to always be uh, that voltage is missing. It could be that ground is missing. Um, if you are going to check for ground, all you have to do, change this to the positive. And then touch the ground and notice how the light is coming on okay so that is the video that i wanted to make um thanks for watching